the third thing we got to consider is the customer. So remember, if I go back into my customers, which is under the sales tab, and then my customers, if you're under the business view, it would be under the get paid and pay tab, and then the customers. And then when we set up our customers by default, they're going to be subject to sales tax based on what they bought. But maybe they're not subject to the sales tax. So if I go into this AAA customer, for example, and I edit them, and I go into their sales tax information, which is uh, down here, then usually the sales tax is gonna be by default based on location. That's what it generally happens. Or you can choose the 5%, which is the other, the other tax, if they're subject to that. So if you have multiple uh, rates down below, multiple subject to sales tax rates, then you would choose the applicable one, right? It's going to default to the based on the location. I could choose the 5% if I wanted to, or I can say this customer uh, is, uh, is exempt from sales tax. This customer is tax exempt. Why? Maybe they're a government agency or charitable organization or whatever. And so, and I can put the details. So if I did that, then I close this out. I go to the plus button, have a new invoice and I choose everything that's the same, AAA customer, a product subject to sales tax, uh, but and, that, and it even has its sales tax checked off, but no sales tax being calculated. If that happens, you're gonna say, hey, why isn't it happening? I got it checked off and nothing's happening. Well, maybe the customer then is set up to not be subject to sales tax. So the next thing you need to check is the customer side. Is it proper that the sales tax isn't being calculated, even though you got it checked off and sales tax set up and the item subject to sales tax because the, sub the customers somehow s are not subject to sales tax. Let's close that out and try it again. Go back to the customer and let's edit the customer and say now that the customer is subject to a different rate. So we'll say they're subject to sales tax, but maybe it's that 5% rate. So I'll go, okay. So now if I hit the plus button and I go to the invoice and I go, everything's the same. I go into the customer and I say, okay, sales tax, taxable item. But now the rate that's gonna be charged is the 5% as opposed to the, the normal California rate, right? And then of course, if I chose something that's not subject to sales tax, like the service item, a diagnostic, then sales tax isn't applied because the item is now saying it's not subject to sales tax. All right, so I'm gonna close this back up. By default, if I go into the customers, we'll, we'll go this back into the customer and say by default, it's usually gonna have the default setting of the customer's taxable, and then it's gonna be based on the location. So that's the default unless you say something otherwise. So one more thing, if I record something, on the invoice now, you can see how complex this transaction is getting, even though the data input is quite easy. If I choose an inventory item, then what's this gonna do? The invoice is gonna increase the accounts receivable by the full amount, including sales tax, 547.50. The other, I'm not gonna actually record this, by the way, I'm just saying, what would it do? The other side's gonna go to sales, the 500, driven by the item, which we told it to go to the sales revenue account. And then the, uh, tax is going to go up not to an income account, not to revenue, but a payable account, given the theory that we're not actually charging the sales tax. We're just the collection agency. The sales tax is being charged by the government to the customer. Therefore, it's not income to us, but a payable a liability as we collect the tax. And then we're going to pay it later. And because it's an inventory item, inventory is going to be going down. Uh, and, and also the cost of goods sold is going to be going up and the sub ledger for inventory uh, in terms of by, well, the sub ledger for inventory by amount is also going to be impacted going down the units of inventory and the, the customer sub ledger tracking who, uh, who owes us the money is going to be impacted as well, complementing the accounts receivable. So a lot's going on with just the invoice now but the data input is quite simple. So once again, I'm not gonna record this, closing this out. Do you want to leave without saving? I'm going to say yes. Sales tax now set up.